All right. We're going to take so it up there again? We have another speaker. Okay, to finish this video off, something that I wanted to talk about was how to stay committed to the gym or anything else that you find important to you, but it's hard to do. My example is the gym. So essentially people wonder, first off, how do you stay motivated? And my answer to that is I don't stay motivated all the time. Um, Obviously, there's days where you don't want to get up or you don't want to go because you're tired or you feel weak or you feel hungry or you didn't get enough sleep or you just come up with excuses. And I think if you recognize that and you recognize that you are trying to find excuses for yourself not to go, then that is the most important time to go. And if you can psychologically understand that, and still go anyway, then the more and more you do that, the stronger and stronger your mentality will become. Um, I think there's definitely days where I am so motivated to go and I'm like, I'm gonna smash it today, I'm gonna hit a great PR, I feel great, I feel like I've eaten a lot, I'm feeling big today, or I just have a spark of motivation. 
And then there's other days where like I'm cramming in the time or I just feel tired or it's like I want to go to bed and I don't want to have to go to the gym. And I would even say that I'm one of the more motiva- motivated people that I know. So essentially, first off, I think there's a little psychological tricks that you can do to help you make it easier on yourself. First of all, um, let's say you're a morning person. If you go to the gym in the morning, then it's going to be easier for you. Sometimes people like going in the afternoon, maybe going in the evening like I do, or even at night. I think if you can figure out what time of day is most convenient, then that'll make it easier for you as well. Um, Also, maybe let's say that you like working by yourself or with a partner. I think if you are um, lucky enough to go with a partner, then that person can hold you accountable in ways that you wouldn't even imagine because you know that you can't not go if your partner is waiting on you to come, then it makes it way easier. If no one is waiting on you and the only person holding you accountable is yourself, then at that point your brain can start to play tricks on yourself like, oh, no one will care. It won't make a difference. I skip this one day or it's not the end of the world if I miss one day, right? And then the more you do that, the more it'll be easier and easier to do it again and again and again. So if I could preach anything, I would preach consistency. Um, just plan out what you want to do and execute it. I promise that if you do that, then you will feel so powerful just knowing that you can control like what you do and what happens in your day, you are in control and have the power of. So um, that's my motivational tip of the day. Also, if you have any questions um, that you would like to ask me about maybe any fitness related content, then you can DM me on Instagram. My Instagram bio is um, in the description of this video. So you can DM me any questions about nutrition or fitness and I'll do my best to answer them.